All right, so before we get into what I really wanna talk about, I just gotta put this out there. The reason that I lost so much muscle, I'd be a lot bigger and I'd look a lot better if I kept to what I normally ate. My eating habits from, you know, freaking when I started eating to like probably like 17 and 18 years old, um, were amazing. Uh, I grew up eating, you know, whole organic foods and everything, and my diet and nutrition was normally probably 70 to 80% whole foods, right? Now, when you took lifting out of my life for the first three and a half months, my diet had never been shittier. It, normally, I would just like wake up, not eat anything, suppress my appetite with like coffee, and then at night, just like, just eat like any type of junk food that was in my house. So I was just craving sugar all the time. So I wouldn't eat anything and then eat a bunch of shit food. And that would probably equate to like 1,700 to 2,000 calories or like 1,500 calories worth of just shit food every single day for like, I'm gonna say three and a half months, but it was probably a little longer. I've almost not lifted for I think half a year now, but that is the main factor also, you know, as well, not training. So, but that is the main factor to the muscle atrophy. Now, getting into what really matters, I just want to explain that when lifting was taken out of my life, um, I really didn't know what I was gonna do because when I was 16, I stopped, you know, stopped my public schooling and everything. Um, I lost routine at, and I created a super sloppy one that just, I don't know, just didn't help me progress in life other than just lifting. I could, you know, I could, I was eating, I was bulking, right? I was going mad hard. Dude, I don't know what to fucking say for this video. It needs to come from the fucking heart. Oh, I've tried to make this video. I've talked about what I want to talk about multiple times, even. I just want to let you guys know that when I took lifting out of my life, uh, I realized that my life was pretty shit. And what I mean by that is one, my routine was shit Two, my, my sleeping habits, you know, my my sleep schedule was messed up. I wasn't really progressing with life. The only thing I was progressing within was my lifts. And now that lifting is out of my life, I found that I need to, you know, focus on building up a lot, a lot more areas of my life, including, you know, just cleaning up all my shit. As you guys can see, I'm in my room right now. It's really fucking clean. The house is super clean. The office is super clean. Um, that was a big issue in this house. And I was definitely a key factor in that. I did not give a shit. Um, so that's like, that's very, very little to everything else I've been working on with myself. I'm trying to use my phone less. My phone has taken away just a lot from my life. It's like social interactions and stuff. Just like, I don't know, these are just all little things that I've kind of noticed now having lifting out of my life. I just know that since I was in this routine, I was just doing my thing for, you know, three years, I was just used to whatever was happening, right? And now that that's cut out, I'm like, holy shit. Because for the first three and a half months, um, as well as my diet being shitty, I did nothing with my life. You know, I do pay rent here and I have money saved up and everything. So I could literally just sit around and do nothing. And that's what I did because I don't, that's what I would do if I wasn't lifting. And that's, to me, that's really sad. And so I've been making a big effort recently to change that and it's making me a lot happier. Just like I said, like just little things like cleaning my room and everything really made me feel happy and that just gets the ball moving to a lot more stuff. What I really wanna share with you guys is take a look at your life right now and just see if there's things you like really want to change but haven't. Maybe like you're in your mind, oh, I should do this, oh, I should do that and then never really get to it because you're just used to the routine you're going through day in and day out. Fucking do that shit. Like, I don't, I don't know what else to say. Like, it'll happen to you eventually, hopefully. Um, hopefully you guys can, can come to a realization if you guys are struggling with anything or procrastinating on anything that you just need to fucking do it. There are so many things and so many opportunities that I've been given that I've definitely taken for granted and not done and not taken. I've just been a lazy piece of shit. And so I am making a big effort to change that. And like I said, fucking three times already, things are rolling. I'm much more positive, I'm much more happy, I feel much more accomplished with my life. You see me and I look like I have a shitty body and I'm not lifting and you know, that's supposed to be like, you know, my career. And you'd think that taking that out made me, I guess, more negative and unhappy, but it's completely opposite because of all these realizations that I've come to. I'm not saying that I'm like fully self-aware and know everything that's wrong with me and know all my habits and I'm the fucking best person right now, but I am working to just be a better person and I wouldn't be working towards that and working towards other goals if it wasn't for my injury. So I think that was all I wanna say. I'm happy and, and that's what fucking matters. 
So hopefully you guys are happy too. And if not, life's too fucking short. I mean, I'm not trying to be a fucking life coach or anything, but uh, I don't know. This is just a fucking raw clip and I'm out. Peace out, dude.